Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing another get ready with me style video. And I'm going to be featuring some newer products, newer to me, products that I haven't tried before. So you're going to get some first impressions. Um, and I basically just want to try all this stuff out and put it on my face. So I decided to sit down at my vanity and get ready. Um, so we're going to be featuring some cool products. And I also am going to be featuring this perfume. I collabed with Dossier Perfumes. They were kind enough to send me some scents to try out and I've been testing them out. I haven't even had this one for that long and I've already used a good amount of it. Um, this is a really cool brand because you it allows you to try out all of these luxury perfumes that are super, super pricey for literally a fraction of the cost. So usually you would have to spend you know, $100, $200, sometimes $300 for a nice perfume, um, but you can literally try them for $29. So this one is a dupe for the Baccarat Rouge, which, which everyone raves about and says it's so yummy smelling, and I've been like so intrigued by it. So when they reached out to me, I was so excited because I knew that they sold the dupe for that one, and on their website, it's called Ambry Saffron. Guys, it smells so, so good. Um, this has, the top notes are saffron and orange blossom. The middle notes are jasmine, plum, and cedarwood. And the base notes are oak moss, fir balsam, and amber. It's very sultry, very warm, and sexy. It's, it's definitely interesting. I've never really worn a perfume like this. Um, but yeah, this company is super cool because it, it has a try before you buy program where you can literally try a full size bottle of the perfume. Like they will send you the full size bottle. If you don't like it, you can send it back within 30 days and be refunded, which is very, very cool. Um, because let's face it, perfumes are personal and even though you may smell someone and they smell amazing, you could try it on yourself and it doesn't smell good. Everyone's body chemistry works with scents differently. So yeah, I think that's really cool cool um I definitely definitely recommend trying them out another one that I have that I love as well is the floriental vanilla which I think may have a different name on their website um now but that is supposed to be like the YSL black opium which is another really like grown-up sexy scent I was kind of looking for something a little bit more grown-up and just like sexy for nighttime um I don't really own a lot of scents like that and I feel like Ambery Saffron and the Floriental Vanilla are very much like adult scents. <laughs> um, very musky and just, I don't know, very different. So I definitely recommend checking them out. I will link them down below. But without further ado, let's jump into the Get Ready With Me. All right, you guys, so let's get ready together. Um, I did do my brows. The only thing I use differently and something that's still new to me is the e.l.f. Brow Soap. Um, this is a newer product for them. They also launched the Brow Freeze, but this is basically just the soap version of that. And I like it. It's not bad. Um, not life-changing, but not bad. So that's the first new product. Right, so the first product we're going to be trying, um, I actually have used this before, but this is only like the second time. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. These went viral on TikTok. They're supposed to leave your skin super glowy and dewy. Um, what's really cool about this product is you can use it in a number of ways. You can either use it as a serum in your skincare routine, so you can use it before your moisturizer, or you can use it at the, as the very last step of your skincare routine just to give you an overall really glowy, dewy look. Like if you're not gonna be wearing makeup or you can use it as a primer. There's really so many different ways you can use it, um, which I do like that. Um, so I'm just gonna take, I think one pump. I think I'm gonna use just one pump. Um, it says one to two pumps, but we're just gonna use one pump. It is very liquidy and yes, it does smell like watermelon like jolly rancher watermelon it leaves your skin feeling so soft so i just added another half a pump just because i wanted that extra glow to the skin but you can see definitely adds that glow by the way, I am just sitting in front of my vanity today and just using my vanity lights. I know the lighting probably isn't perfect, 
but um, I really just wanted this video to be like casual like truly I'm just getting ready like this is where I sit every day to get ready I didn't want to set up any fancy lighting situation or anything like that um, I just didn't feel like it's necessary so I literally just have the camera in front of me where I get ready every day and um, honestly I'm already liking this so much better than like a proper professional setup um, I just like when videos are like a little bit more casual for foundation, this is not a new product for me, but I stopped using it for a while and now I'm back into using it. The Superstay Foundation by Maybelline. This is the 24 hour one. This is in 140 Light Tan. Um, this is a very, very matte foundation, which is why I went a little bit heavier with the glow because I don't know this is like very very matte and also very very pigmented and just dot this on my face sometimes I dot it sometimes I apply it directly with a brush it really just depends um I actually don't wear nearly as much coverage as I used to wear so this is actually an adjustment for me to be wearing a foundation like this because for a while I've just been wearing a tinted serum um, that has very little coverage but I'm slowly getting back into fuller coverage um, at least when I know I'm gonna be like taking pictures and stuff so this foundation is very yellow um, this particular color but I feel like once I do my makeup and everything it all kind of evens out and works out Don't forget to hit your ears if your ears are out. And of course, don't forget to get down the neck. All right, so the next product is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I know this has been out for a little while, but um, I finally picked it up the other day. I got the shade Golden Days, and I really, really like this stuff. It's very, very natural, and I think that's what I like about it is it's not too heavy for a cream contour. I mean, some days I want like a full coverage, like foundation for my cream contour, and other days I just want something very natural and easy. So I'm just gonna take this, um, and it's a really nice color, with the little e.l.f. putty brush. By the way, I love this brush. I'm gonna get like six of them because it's like the cutest, perfect little brush for creams. So lately I've been liking applying my cream bronzer before going in with concealer. I don't know why. Um, I just like using all of like my cream cheek products first and then doing my concealer. I just feel like it just, I don't know, it just looks better. But as you can see, this just blends in beautifully. It doesn't take a whole lot of effort. It's just very easy. All right, next we're going to use the putty blush. I love these putty blushes, but I recently just got a new shade. This is in the shade Turks and Caicos. My favorite is the, or my go-to, this is becoming a favorite. Um, my go-to is the Bora Bora shade, which is like the bright pink. But yeah, this is like kind of like a corally shade. So I just use this on the same putty brush. And I'm just gonna press this into the cheeks. I don't know, there's something about these putty products. They just blend so nicely into the skin. Okay, so next I'm gonna be using this new product. Benefit actually sent this to me. This is the Benefit Bright On Concealer. Um, and it's basically like a color corrector. That's what I would consider it. So they have a couple different shades. I'm gonna be using the shade Ginger. It's a very, very lightweight concealer. Um, you just put a couple dots of this and then I like to go over it with another concealer um, You could use this on its own. I just for me personally like I said I just feel like it's not enough coverage, but it does a really nice job at color correcting As you can see it just instantly brightens up, but to me that's just not enough coverage but it definitely brightens and what I like about this is the formula is super duper lightweight, so it layers very nicely with other products. It's not gonna be too heavy. Okay, now we're gonna go in with a brand new concealer. Never tried this before, and I'm very, very excited. I've heard good things about it. 
Um, and this brand I haven't really tried much from besides their eyeliner, which is the One Size Beauty by Patrick Star. I was gonna say Patrick Ta, but Patrick Star. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to try this. I feel like his complexion products like have to be good. Like he, he's so he's so well known for like his full coverage glam. So I feel like this I, I, this is gonna be promising for sure. Um, this is shade Light 2G. Hopefully the shade works for me. I have no idea. Um, I do like the applicator. The applicator is really nice. So let's see. I don't know how, wow, it's very, very creamy. I don't know how much I'm gonna need of this, but I'm just gonna go in like I usually would. I'm not gonna put too much though, cause I, again, I really don't know how this is gonna come out. But this may be a new favorite, I don't know. We'll see. It is definitely very, very creamy. Um, and I can tell it's very pigmented. Very high pigment. Yeah, definitely high coverage. Wow, I really like that. Definitely brightening, which is what I look for in a concealer because I do have dark circles, so brightening is like a huge thing for me. Like I need a bright under eye. But that looks really, really pretty. I feel like it blends out really easily. I'm not having an issue with that. I'm gonna take what's left and press it into my chin above my lip. And I kinda want to do a little bit of this in the center of my eyebrows here just to bring some light to the area. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more underneath my eyes because I just want a little extra coverage. Okay, so far so good. I definitely like that. I feel like it's really pretty. Now I'm gonna go in with two different cream highlighters. These are by Makeup Revolution. These are the bright light highlighters. This is in the shade Beam Pink and Strobe Champagne. So I think what I'm gonna do is take the champagne color and I'm just gonna put that at like the high points of my cheeks. These are supposed to be like the Charlotte Tilbury, um, like, what do they call them? The wands? It's pretty. It's not like that dramatic. Um, I feel like it goes on a lot more dramatic, but once you blend it out, it's pretty subtle. Take the champagne, the beam pink color, which is has like more of a pink hue, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that like right here towards the apples of my cheeks. Honestly, like I feel like I need a little bit more concealer. Or am I being dramatic? I like that. I feel like it adds like a nice glow to the cheek. Okay. So far, so good. I will say this, I do feel like the concealer oxidized a little bit, but I still like it. I think the formula is nice, so. Now we're gonna set the face, and I'm gonna be using the One Size Setting Powder. This is the translucent shade. Um, this is the Ultimate Setting Powder. It's supposed to be very blurring. Um, Painted by Spencer has used this on his channel, and I really like the way it looks whenever he uses it, so. I have high hopes. I got the mini size, because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. I should've just got the bigger size, but whatever. So lately how I like to set my makeup is I like to take some on a puff, on a sponge, and then on a puff, and then I tap it into my hands, and then I take what's left, and I just push it into the area that I'm trying to set. So that's how I do it. I think next time I'm gonna try this concealer without this underneath, this benefit one. I feel like these aren't really going together that well. I mean, my under eye looks fine, but I think what's making it oxidize is possibly this. I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm gonna set my whole face with this powder. So I definitely like the powder. I feel like it is very nice. It feels very, very soft on the skin. It did blur my imperfections and my pores and all of that. 
But I also got another powder that I want to try out, which is the Dermablend Professional Loose Setting Powder. I've heard really good things about this, so I'm going to use this to bake. I don't know if I'm making a mistake by mixing two powders, but I want to try it, so we're going to do that. Um, so I'm just going to take some. This is a very, very finely milled powder, and I'm just going to use the puff that it comes with, and we're going to put this underneath our eyes. While that powder is sitting and baking, I'm gonna prime my eyes. I'm gonna use the Boing Cakeless Concealer in shade five by Benefits. And we're just gonna use this as an eye primer today. Uh, so the next thing I like to do is I like to take a contour shade or like um, a darker concealer. I'm gonna use Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Chai. And I just take a blending brush with a little bit of that product on there. And I like to actually run this in my crease. The, the reason why I do this is it's basically a base for my transition shade. It's like contouring the, the eye like we cream contour the face, essentially. So I'm just applying that in there into the brow and I also like to drag it outward as well. I don't know, I just like the way that looks. Like doesn't that look good? Rather than just like a simple color all over the lid. I don't know, I just, I like doing this. I feel like I shouldn't keep letting this powder sit because I don't really know how it's gonna affect my makeup. Powder actually blended away fine. It doesn't look bad or anything. So we're gonna go back to the face and finish off like the powders of the face, like powder bronzer, powder blush, powder highlighter. But I wanted to move on to the eyes. Um, so now that we have our eyes primed, I think I'm gonna go in with this shade here. I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place Masquerade palettes, and I'm just gonna use this shade Fulani which is like a chocolate brown. Um, no, this is not a new palette for me. Um, I just haven't used it in a while, so I wanted to pull it back out. I actually just ordered a new Juvia's Place palette. I feel like they have not been releasing new palettes like they used to. Um, I feel like for a minute there, like, eyeshadow palettes just weren't as popular the last year like it was more about skin and complexion but I think eyeshadow palettes are gonna make a comeback which I'm excited about so I just ordered their new palettes which I, th I forget what it's called Ugh, was it carnival I don't know it has a lot of really beautiful colors I'm so excited to get it um, and I'm so excited to play with some color because I actually haven't gotten an eyeshadow palette in a while. And for me, eyeshadow palettes are like really where my passion of makeup stems from. Like I just love a good palette. As you can see, I just kind of winged out that shadow and I'm just gonna kind of deepen it up. Um, I'm just gonna take a little bit of P. Louise and I'm just going to Put that on my lid to act as like a base for the shadow that I'm going to put on, which I don't know what I'm going to use yet, but... So I'm just going to take this gold shade and I'm just going to pat that on my brush and I think I'm just going to put this on my lid and hopefully I like it. That's pretty. It's a very soft color. It's not like too crazy. Um, it's not overly shimmery either, but it's like a pretty everyday color actually. Um, I may add something on top just to make it a little bit more, I don't know, dramatic. And we're just going to go back in with that brush and just kind of mesh the two shades together. I want it to be super soft. I don't want like a cut crease or anything like that. I kind of want to add like this which is the elf liquid glitter in 24 karat golds i really hope i don't ruin this look by adding this i don't know i just feel like it needs a little something something and this could 
be the answer. Um, that's pretty. I don't know if it's life changing. <laughs> so, to be completely honest, this shit is dried out. Like this shit is dry. <laughs> so I'm just taking my finger and just blending it out. It's just so it's not super dramatic. I'm gonna see if I could like add another layer of this. So that added like a little something. Not a lot, but a little something. So now I'm going to, what am I gonna do? Oh, wow, I'm surprised this gel liner is not dried out because I don't know the last time I used it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take the brown gel liner by e.l.f. and we're just gonna make a wing with this. Actually, I'm not gonna do a wing. I'm just gonna do like the outer part and then we're gonna smoke it smoke it out with a little bit of a dark brown eyeshadow. I'm just gonna take this e.l.f. eyeshadow quad and I'm gonna, ooh, you know what, maybe I should add a little bit of that. I'm just gonna take this bite size eyeshadow quad by e.l.f. This is the, sh the palette called Cream and Sugar. And I'm just gonna use the dark brown and that is what I'm gonna use to blend out this eyeliner. Now I'm just going to apply a little bit of eyeliner. I'm just going to use the MAC eyeliner, the Eye Coal in Teddy, which is a bronzy shade. Okay, now we're going to take um, this shade from the Bite Size palettes, this like champagne shade, and I'm going to actually mix it with the color next to it, like that. And then I'm going to spray it with like a setting spray or some sort of facial spray. And we're going to put this in the inner corner like that. Okay, so I'm going to do mascara and um, also apply some lashes. So, I don't know if I've mentioned this on my channel um, yet. I have talked about it on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, by the way, definitely go follow me. I would appreciate it. But I have developed some sort of an allergy to either eyel fake eyelashes or lash glue. I haven't figured it out yet. Um, it happens out of nowhere and it is very, very discouraging, very annoying considering I'm a makeup artist and I wear lashes all the time. It's just like, why? Why me? Like, out of all people, someone that does makeup for a living like has to develop a random allergy. So a lot of people were like, oh, it's probably the lash glue. Use latex la lash glue, latex-free lash glue. And I'm like, girl, I know. <laughs> I have tried like four or five different lash glues, all latex-free, from a aldehyde-free, like, and it still bothers me. Um, what happens is my eye gets very swollen wherever the lash is. So like the other day, I wore lashes for literally an hour and I woke up the next morning and my eye was so swollen, so irritated. But I think, I think, I don't know, I think what is possibly the allergy is not the lash glue, but the lash band. So the thick band there, I think that is what I am allergic to. The reason why I say that is because I noticed, I started noticing a slight allergy a slight irritation when I started using these lashes and I do love these lashes but every time I wear them my eye gets irritated um, last week I did a look where I put gems all over my eyes and what did I use to adhere them lash glue so I had lash glue all over my eyelid nowhere but the lash line did I have a reaction Everywhere else was completely fine. So that tells me maybe it's the lash band. I did look into it and you can actually be allergic to the fibers that make fake eyelashes. Um, so I'm trying out these ones I got on Amazon. I don't know. I don't even know if I could still find these. I had these for a really long time. But um, they had a clear lash band. So I'm going to see if they irritate my eyes at all with a clear lash band. Um, and I'm just going to do half lashes because I'm not trying to irritate my eye too much. So I'm going to go apply those and then I'll be back and we can finish up the face. But yeah, super random. I don't know why all of a sudden I developed this allergy. I know that can happen. Your body changes all the time and you can develop random intolerances and allergies um, as you get older. But it's very, very frustrating. Let me know if any of you guys have dealt with this. Um, 
I know it's actually not that uncommon um, and a lot of people DM me saying that they developed a random allergy as well. Some of people said they developed it to um, getting eyelash extensions. They got them for years, loved them, and then out of nowhere they had to stop getting them. So, I don't know. Alright, so lashes are on and let's hope that I don't get a reaction. But I really do like these lashes. They're very natural, but still enough, you know? Um, I'll see if I can find them on Amazon. They buy, it says Hello Beauty Jimire. J-I-M-I-R-E. Jimire? Jimire? I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyways, we're going to bronze up the skin. I'm just going to use my Four Scope palette by Benefits. This has Hoola bronzer in it. Um, I love this palette. I use it every day, whether I'm doing natural makeup, dramatic makeup. Um, I just, I don't know. I love it. I really only use this and this blush. Um, actually, sometimes I use this blush. I do not use the highlighter. The highlighter has like literally no pigment in my opinion, but I do like everything else. All right, just taking the blush, the color Solstice. It's like a bright pink. And I really go crazy with this. Like, I just pile it on. Into the nose, and then I do a little bit on the forehead, a little bit on the chin, just to balance out the color. Um, I do want to apply highlighter as well, so I think I'm just going to do... You still can slightly see that highlighter, the cream highlighter that we applied, but I want a little bit more. So I'm going to take... Oh my god, I have the worst cramps right now. Oh, I'm going to take this color piece of me um, from the Janessa Myricks Lightworks palette. Um, this is a really, really nice highlighting palette if you're looking for a new one um it's so so pretty now we're going to take we're almost done we're just going to move on to lips and then we will be done i'm going to take mac cork lip liner i'm just going to sharpen it real quick if i can okay lastly we're going to take this revolution Palp Balm Plumping Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Candy. I have no idea how this is going to be. I've never used it before. Oh, it's very thick. Like, very thick. But I love the color. I think it's such a pretty color. Oh, wow. It's like so pigmented. Ooh. So it's actually not that thick on the lips. It looks very thick in the tube but on the lips it actually feels pretty smooth I definitely feel that cooling sensation because it is a plumping gloss I think we're done oh wait I do want to add a little bit of setting spray so I'm just gonna use this elf setting spray this is newer to me it's a stay all night micro fine setting mist I'm gonna give it a shake it says up to 16 hour wear and it does have a really nice mist to it, um, which I like. Alright, so that is the look. Um, I think it came out pretty good. I'm just praying that I don't have a reaction to my eyelashes, please. Um, I do think I probably should have went a little bit more bronzy on the skin and not so pink with like a pink highlight because my eyes are so bronzy it's kind of contradicting each other but I still like it I don't like dislike it I just feel like I probably should have went a little bit more bronzy on the skin um but yeah that is the look uh, so far we had we had some really good products so I do think that this concealer is promising however I want to try it without this underneath I think this would work better on its own but I do like it I do also like the one size setting powder. That seemed really nice. My skin looks so smooth. Um, and this powder was really nice too for baking. It didn't leave me looking wrinkly, crinkly, dry. Like, it's nice. Um, what else? 
Um, these two I had already tried prior to this video, but I still really like them and they are newer to me. And then I really did like the, um, the highlighters by Makeup Revolution. Um, I'm going to play around with these a little bit more, but I did like these. And I really do like this lip color now that I'm looking at it. I feel like it's really nice. I kind of like the fact that it's not super shiny. Um, because you could easily add a gloss, like another gloss on top, but I really like the color of this. Um, but it is kind of nice just to have just gloss and lip liner and that's it. It's a very quick, like, nude lip. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you stick around and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see, what content you want to see. Um, give me some ideas, some inspiration. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.